Big Reed Pond stands as one of Maine's true outdoor treasures. The tiny 100-acre pond is protected from development, surrounded on all sides by forest and mountain views. Though it may take a while to get there, it's well worth the trip. Big Reed Pond is as unique as the lone weathered sporting camp that resides there. One of just 12 bodies of water in the continental United States to hold a population of native Arctic char, it is a wonderful reminder of the Maine outdoors experience. Decades ago, rainbow smelt were illegally introduced into Big Reed, and the results were nearly disastrous. The smelt began competing with wild Arctic char and brook trout for both food and habitat, and char numbers dropped dramatically. Soon the Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife had no choice but to intervene and take drastic measure for a pond once seen as one of Maine's most unique fishing spots. It set in motion a plan for a chemical reclamation of the pond. The project began in 2006. IFNW fisheries biologists began the laborious process of collecting native fish from Big Reed. They spent literally thousands of hours on the water netting native Arctic char to use as broodstock but their hard work yielded only a few single fish, a certain sign that the situation at Big Reed was dire. In October of 2010, the Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife, with help from volunteers and other like-minded organizations, descended upon Big Reed Pond. Army National Guard Black Hawk helicopters were enlisted to help transport thousands of pounds of the chemical rotenone into Big Reed. Biologists tore into crates, stacked bags of the powdery rotenone, and assembled jugs with the liquid version of the chemical. Once the rotenone was on site, biologists spent several days applying the chemical to Big Reed Pond. Liquid rotenone was pumped into the deepest spots of the pond. Powder was sprayed liberally across every inch of the pond's surface. Teams of biologists trudged deeper into the forest, through mud and muck, over beaver dams and massive blowdowns, and alongside waterfalls. Every bit of water, from rushing streams to still standing puddles, was treated with rotenone in an effort to eradicate any and all living fish. Amidst all of the work, a freshwater station was established, and a few native brook trout were recovered and revived. Like those before them that had been collected, the survivors were taken to Mountain Springs Trout Farm for safekeeping. As late autumn fell over Big Reed Pond, and biologists were confident that all of the invasive fish there had been destroyed, attention turned toward the Arctic char being kept by Gary Picard at the Mountain Springs Hatchery. Picard cared for the fish daily, breeding them in his tanks and hatching out a new class of Arctic char with direct bloodlines to Big Reed Pond. Late in the spring of 2011, as summer was set to bloom on the picturesque pond, department fisheries biologist Frank Frost joined Picard with 600 young char. Flown in with the help of Igor Sikorsky at Bradford Camps and Bill Patterson of the Nature Conservancy, the spry young fish, all measuring seven to nine inches in length, were returned to Big Reed Pond. Brook trout fry followed in a later trip. Without the threat of a smelt population in the pond, the hope is that the Arctic char will thrive spawn on their own and eventually return Big Reed Pond to a wonderful remote illustration of Maine's truly unique fisheries.